What's poppin' everybody? This is Tiffany, aka Miss Beautiful. And today, as you can see by the title, will be a chit chat. Get ready with me. So if you're interested in this look and what we got to talk about, because we got a lot to talk about and we talking about some good stuff, stay tuned. <laughs> oh my god, I turned my bathroom fan on. I'm pretty sure y'all hear it in the video because that's just my luck that you would hear it in the video. I ain't really trying to get up, so hopefully it's not too bad. Hopefully, let's hold on. Let's hold on. So I'm talking to this new guy, right? And I was telling him, you know, like, and he always like, he's always like touching my face and stuff, which is like, you know, like, oh, you admire me and type of thing, you know. But it's like, keep your hands on my face. <laughs> like, why are your hands always in my face? Like, I don't know what you do with your hands during the day, you feel me? But no, um, I was telling him, I was trying to hint, like, you know, like, get your hands on my face. But I pretty much was like, my skin has been breaking out. It looks so bad. Guess what he had the nerve to say? You need to keep your hands out your face. Guess what I said? You need to keep your hands out my face. <laughs> Moral of the story, he still touches my face. Don't ask. I'm in a good mood, you guys. Kinda. I don't know. This new guy. Oh, he's really sweet. And he, he was just like, my parents have been married 32 years, so I've watched my dad treat my mom like a queen. So, you know, he only taught me how to treat women like a queen. And so, he's been treating me like a queen, you know, like, yesterday was Saturday. And he got me flowers. And I love flowers. Even though I don't know how to, like, keep them alive. I love flowers. And then he cooked me dinner. So we had um, crab legs, shrimp, broccoli. Um, we had some steaks, but he was like, I'll save the steaks for breakfast. I'm like, eh? <laughs> Like we could have steak and eggs in the morning. He's really nice. He, um, Cleaned my bathtub last night. I was like, huh? It's like, you know, you do not know how to do that. So I don't know, that ain't no problem. So me and this guy met on Facebook. He messaged me. A lot of guys message me on Facebook. But they're, it's just, yeah, like, you know what I mean? Like, hmm. <laughs> Guys, I feel like are only interested in like one thing. Majority of them, especially. I mean, I I think the first thing people look at when they look at you is like physical sexual attraction, pretty much, right? But it'd be like, can you be a little more approachable? Like, I mean, not approachable, but can you approach me in a better manner than what you do? Like. These guys be so bold, and I, I mean, I appreciate the straightforwardness, but I mean, at least say, hey, how you doing? Like, don't just be like, you a freak, because I eat both hoes. Like, I, I didn't, who asked, because I, I didn't want to know that, okay? Blot, or... I can blow your back out. Like, hi, my name's Tiffany, how are you? <laughs> like, black. <laughs> like, my patience is wearing thin, you know what I mean? Like, I've had enough sex in my lifetime, you know, to the point it's just like, I just wanna like, just really share my body with someone I can see a future with it you know what i mean but it's just like at what point does this get old to guys like what's another these are like literal messages that i get 
other messages I get be like, you got some nice lips. I bet you could suck a good ping ping. It's like, if I could, you won't find out, blah. So, it's like, these men be so disrespectful. And it's just like, if you bold enough to come in my inbox like that, how many other females' inboxes you going in like that? You feel me? That'd be my thing, like, Okay, sometimes it's good to hook up, but like, if you coming in my inbox like that, then you're probably in a bunch of other females' inboxes. You might be having sex with them, and uh, you know, I ain't really with the um, I ain't really with all that, you know. But yeah, so the way my new friend, you know, just kind of came in my inbox and was just asking me, you know, like. Hi, where are you from? What do you do for fun? Where do you see yourself in the next five years? Like, those are conversations I like. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can see myself, like, having a conversation. Like, at least having a conversation with you. You know what I mean? Like, <clears throat> you just come off like, I'm trying to get you in bed. Oh, thanks for your honesty. And I know your intentions. So we both know how to move. Okay, you with me? But there are some guys that sweet talk you and, you know, act like they're interested in what you're doing in the next five years. And this could go all wrong, but, you know, at least, I don't know, give it a shot. So that's what I'm doing. Give it a shot. And me and my ex still talk. And he's always asking me, you find somebody new? Yada, yada. Because apparently he don't want me to be with nobody. <laughs> but it's like, oh, you can be with somebody though? No. Yeah. Because he's in a relationship. It be so backwards. Like, why be like that? It's like, oh, you can move on, but I'm not allowed to? Like, uh, I'm good. Another funny thing. Well, was it funny? Yeah, it was kind of like, what? Um, a thing that happened last night. <laughs> um... We were washing dishes together. He was just like staring at me. I was like, what? So, he's always like staring at me. And like admiration. I mean, I am cute, but you know what I'm saying? And I'd be like, what are you looking at? <laughs> you know, it's like, like obviously I know what you're looking at, but like, <laughs> I just want to hear you say it. <laughs> but, uh, it's like, what kind of oils do you use in your hair? Let me grease your scalp. I was like, hey, sorry. <laughs> what? It's not my grease on my scalp. <laughs> like, shoot. Hold on, let me go get the oils. Like, having somebody offer to grease my scalp? Never happened. It's like, in the morning, we're going to soak your feet and now scrub them. And I'm like, <laughs> This is too much. Stop. Just, just stop. <laughs> and it's like, it's crazy because he's being so nice, but I'm just like, no. Like, you know what I mean? Because it's just like, I'm not used to that, you know? Like, my last relationship, it would be like, why you never scrub my feet? Cause you don't ask like you know what I mean it's just like some stuff you shouldn't ask have to ask for like I get it you can't read my mind you don't know what I want but like every now and then you know you should want to just do something unexpected for your lady you know what I mean or your you know significant other well we had went downtown last night I was like oh well let me do my makeup and he's just like Came in, came in my little makeup area situation. It was just like watching me do my makeup, just like fascinated. And my ex would just be like, my ex was never into like me doing the whole makeup thing, which is perfectly fine. I mean, he's a a guy, you know. <coughs> it was just like. To have him come in here and watch me do what I do, like, you know what I mean? Because he knows, like, 
this is my hobby. This is something I want to do. Like, you know what I mean? Um, and he was just like, you are so beautiful. He just kept saying that. And I was like, okay, I get it. Like, I can't even take compliments. Like, you know what I mean? Because this is not what I'm like. Like, of course my ex would, like, compliment me. But, like, not, like, constantly, you know? <sighs> you guys, I don't know. And it's just, like, you try not to, like, move too quick. Because you don't really, like, you know the guy from what he tell you. But you don't really, like, know him, know him. So, you want to kind of be cautious. So, my guard is definitely up. But, I don't know. Like, I really, I really like it. And it's just like, every time we go to the store or something, he's like, you want something? You sure? Like, every time we stop and go to the store. And we've been to the store a lot. <laughs> and it's just like, I never, like, you know what I mean? We stop to the store, you get out and get what you get. You know what I mean? I just, I don't know, I'm just getting treated like I should be treated, you know, and it's, I'm not used to it, so it's like I, I guess it's hard to accept right now, but I mean, you know, if this thing keep going like it's going, you feel me, but then it's kind of like, I don't want to get too comfortable with him, like, wanting to do stuff for me, I don't know, you know what I mean? We stay up so late last <laughs> night. Oh my goodness. I didn't, we didn't go to bed until almost seven o'clock this morning. And girl, I slept till about three o'clock this afternoon. I have never, never, I've never. And this is like, he pretty much got me out of the house. Like, I never, I won't say never, but, like, I don't get out of the house. Like, you know what I mean? Like, and actually go, like, you know, places. So, it was just like, we got cute. We went out. Not, like, out, but, like, we went downtown. <coughs> it was Saturday night, so, you know, everybody just out and about, going to clubs and bars and stuff. And we were just walking around, like, we ain't spending no money, we just walking around, looking and laughing at people. And, you know, it was fun, we had a good time. He reminds me of, um, the guy that I'm talking to, reminds me of Rich Homie Kwan, if you guys know him, he's a rapper. <clears throat> and, like, the way he talks, the way he looks... He acts, talks. I won't say talk, cause Rich Homie Kwan got a lot. <laughs> um, but he just reminds me so much of Rich Homie Kwan. But he has like dreads, like that little like short dread fade type thing. And I love Rich Homie Kwan, so I'm just really like attracted to this guy, you know. It's kind of like I'm dating a rapper. <laughs> he does actually like do music and stuff. You know, everybody trying to be a rapper, I know, but no, he's like really good. Well, this is what he told me. <laughs> he does shows and stuff, and he was like, you know, come out to this one of my shows, and yada yada. And the studio has been like recording songs. I've listened to like a few of his songs. He's like really good, actually. And he sings too. He sings and raps. And he freestyles all day long. <laughs> like, we'll just be like sitting around and he'll just start, start freestyling about what we're doing, what I'm doing, like what he's doing. <laughs> like, and it's just like, he just always keeps me smiling. I'm like, I love it. This guy wants to hang out all the time. Like, we've been together the whole weekend. <laughs> really. But, um, he had to go home early this morning because, um, he stays with his, well, so he's, like, taking care of his, is it deaf? He's taking care of his deaf uncle or blind, his blind uncle. And, um, so he has to, like, you know, get up and feed him at a certain time, so... <clears throat> He left for that, but he was like, when you're finished doing what you're doing, hit me up and we can go out to eat or something. 
like, okay. But um, my camera's probably about to turn off any minute because it's overheating. So I'm pretty much going to do the other eyelashes full face. We'll come back, finish up the eyes, and I'll wrap this thing up. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm full faced and back. Eek. So I have another story, right? So it was this guy I was talking to before I'm talking to the guy I'm talking to now. Um, and he was a white guy. I've always been interested, you know, into dipping into other races and whatnot. Just to see, you know, like, it's, you know. And I mean, I like white guys anyway, you know what I mean? So if you're out there, you know, call me. <laughs> um, but just... A clear message okay guys are guys period <laughs> period um <laughs> and not saying you know all guys are the same because obviously they're not but all guys are the same literally <laughs> i know it's kind of like contradicting myself but you know what i mean like obviously i know there are some good guys out there but in general all guys are the same white black indifferent any race <laughs> they all have the same mentality um some of them not all of them so talked to this white guy for a while you know we were hitting it off really good we connected you know we met up a couple times you know we were talking you know, about our future and how like we really liked each other and we could see ourselves you know kind of starting a relationship but we we're gonna start slow and things like that we messed around a little bit or whatever and um this Friday, my cycle started. And so, <laughs> um, you know, he had wanted to come over, whatever. And I was like, yeah, you know, you can come over, but, you know, just so you know, my cycle's on, so I'm like, don't come over, it's waiting to get none, because you ain't about to get none. And he was just like, well, can we still have sex on your period? And I was like, ew, first of all. <laughs> Second of all, um, I don't prefer to. He was like, oh, okay, just asking. And he was like, well, my back has been hurting me, so um, I probably won't make it over there tonight. And I was like, you are full of dookie, okay? Just so full of it. And my cycle wasn't on. You were willing to come over and have sex. But when I tell you my period is on, all of a sudden your back hurts. Okay. Okay. <laughs> So I definitely kept that in mind and I'm no longer planning on entertaining him because that's just like full of crap like you know what I mean and it's just like it's okay if you're like upfront and honest with me but we've talked about like you know just like really looking to like be with each other like for real for real not just on some like messing around type stuff you know what I mean like if that's what you wanted you could have said that you know what I mean but I was like, oh my god, all guys are the same. <laughs> and I was thinking, you know, like, oh, he's like, you know, not to make this like any kind of like race thing or whatever, but <clears throat> it's just my mentality. I thought they would be nicer, more loving, you know, just more like they would cherish you more in a sense. But it's not necessarily the case. I mean, I don't know. I was just like, wow, like, Wow, it kind of hurt a little bit because I'm like, dang, like, that just don't, they just really don't be caring, like, I I would just accept the fact more that you were up honest, up, like, straightforward and honest and be like, I just want this to be a sex thing, you know, and then we can, you know, pass go and collect $200, but, like, <laughs> For you to like fill my head up with all these things and then just be like, oh, if we're not having sex now, my back hurts. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I was just, it was some, it was a sucker move, a sucker sucker. <laughs> um, how things work out for how they work out. But yeah, so I'm enjoying, um, you know, getting to know this new guy. He's very entertaining, <laughs> like, very entertaining. He literally keeps me laughing and smiling. And he was just like, I love that I can make you smile and make you laugh so much. He's really just like a gentleman, you know? 
we're just gonna see how it goes. Again, I don't really care to rush into anything because, you know, I don't want to get disappointed. But so far, so good. We had so much fun last night <laughs> when we went downtown, just walking around, laughing and talking about people. I know it's mean, but like, you know, you just be somewhere and you see somebody be like, girl, what in the world? There was this girl and she literally had a cast on her, like from her like knee down to her foot. And she was literally out there hopping. Trying to get in a bar. And I'm like, this is that serious? You need to get in that bar right now. Like, okay. Do you. <laughs> she was so nice. So she said, oh my God, I love your shirt. You know, that was half drunk out there anyway. <laughs> and I was like, thank you. She's like, where'd you get it from? Like, literally had a conversation with me. <laughs> He's definitely a charmer. I'm trying to like not let my car down too quick because i mean i've ran into guys like this as well where like you know they turn on their charm they do all this all that and then they literally turn out to be somebody completely different you know well this guy literally just feels like natural you know what i mean like within a few minutes well not i won't say minutes i won't exaggerate but <coughs> maybe within like an hour of meeting each other we were both like it feels like I've known you all my life. Like, we it, we just, like, instantly clicked. Like, it was like magic. Like, sparks and fireworks. <laughs> I'm really, like, boosting this guy right now, right? Next week, I'll be calling him all kind of names. Because he made me mess up. No, I'm just kidding. All right, guys, this completes our sexy, pink, smoky date night look. I'm super excited. Like, let me call my man's real quick. Like, what's, what's good? Like, what's really good? So, no. But anyways, guys, uh, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for listening to me. Be sure to leave any stories you may have about these, some of these trash men out here. Because, girl... I can relate, okay? <laughs> yeah, let me let me know if there's any other topics you guys would like to talk about. I did a chit chat, get ready with me with certain like topics and stuff a while back. Kind of got out of it. Um, not sure why, but I just, I think I just ran out of like topics and nobody was really giving me any topics to talk about. But I, 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 I really, y'all know I like talking to y'all. So like, I really enjoyed doing this today. And we will definitely talk about them, okay? Okay. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I really hope it's on that side. I think it's on this side now. If you're watching the video, I don't know. But subscribe, okay? Hit the red subscribe button. I know you see it. So might as well. You know what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> um, and until next time, see you.